Um, so, uh, Furia Esports always uh, man manages to qualify for international events. Uh, we saw you guys uh, in Mexico. Um, we also saw you in Sweden, uh, two six invitationals already. Um, yeah. But uh, at the same time, we haven't seen you guys um, having, you know, a really good performance internationally. Uh, do you think that um, this is a problem for the team? And do you guys have been trying to improve uh, these with, I don't know, psychological coaches or any uh, stuff? Uh, we we've been trying to trim to improve to improve in those aspects uh we've been we we know that we always managed to get top eight top nine or in the playoffs but never get past that uh it's a thing that we we know we are trying to improve we we think we are doing much better now uh i think the the br6 being in land is gonna help us a lot at the at at this major and future event. So psychologically, I I think we improved, but I I didn't think that was our major problem. You know, I think it was more some details in games, some some miscommunications, some you know just little stuff that always always. Uh, that, that was always holding us back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you talked about um, Brazilian moving to a LAN environment, and I wanted to talk about it like um, later in the interview, but let's uh, do it now. Uh, you guys have been, uh, well, you have played in some of the best stages in, in the scene, uh, but Handy, Handy is a new player. Um, he has no international experience, but I guess that playing in a LAN environment in Brazil, uh, it's a really good way to start. Uh, what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, yeah I think uh, being playing on LAN, uh, it's, it's really good. It's a really good experience. And to play before a, a major event, you know, it's much better. We played Elite 6, but uh, a major is a major. So uh, besides that, it's not only Handy, but SDK. We, we played the, the Charlotte Major, but from Mexico. So mm. I don't know if that counts, but I, I can tell that they are pretty, pretty hyped for, for this event. Uh, we're gonna you're gonna help us with them with our experience to the the travel the travel problems everything you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah I think that's it yeah I am I am no one to judge but uh, you mentioned the Charlotte Major and we know that you had to play under uh, abnormal circumstances you had to play from Mexico uh, that's why I was not counting this event it's a major yes but you are playing uh, with a different uh, pink than other teams which is not good uh, tell us no. uh, what was the experience and how did you try to you know um, Keep calm and try to do your best in the tournament. Uh, in, in the in this major, in the Charlotte major, I think we we focus on our game. We focus on the things we needed to improve to to manage to win. We try to ignore the problems, the ping. You no, know, that wasn't our under our control. So there wasn't much point in, in trying to. In, do anything about that, keep thinking about that, no, it's just gonna get you frustrated, so we focus on us and what we we could do at the moment. Mm -hmm. You uh, know, everyone at, uh, at Mexico was really receptive, so they were trying their best to, to get us the most comfortable possible. Yeah. Um, so heading to stage two, you made a change, uh, not on your lineup, but outside the lineup. Uh, you decided to part ways with Twister, and you signed uh, Julio, who is uh, in. Well, we all know who Julio is, world champions. Uh, he has some of the best experiences in the game. He can. Do you feel that? His experience at international competitions can help the team improving your results in that area. 
I think uh, with the addition of Julio, yeah, we can with his experience. I think we can manage to to get some amazing results because he he was a he is a champion. And he was I don't know what's the correct term, but uh, with his experience, he already knows uh, how is to win. No, uh, he know uh, how can I say? He knows the way to to win. You know, he knows what what it takes to to be a champion. So with it, with his with his experience, what he can pass to us, and with we can work around that. So so that we can make it with him as a coach and with us players. Uh, yeah, because uh, we know that Julio uh, has a lot of experience as a player, uh, but Twister has a lot of experience as a coach. He has coach. coached Black Dragons, Face Clan. Um, yeah. He has he is like very experienced. Uh, what does it change from having a, a experienced coach to have a experienced player that is debuting as a coach now? I think the main difference is that uh, Julio knows, for being a former player, he knows how to how to help uh, much easier uh, anyone individually who you know in some play. You know he sees he can see clearly what someone is doing wrong and and help that person. You know he already knows how to. Uh, communicate in the the best way possible. So because he was a player, so he knew what what uh, what it was like to get feedback from from their coach or their player. So he he knows what was better for him, and he can can try to do the same for us. So I think that that's the main difference. He can he can spot some minor some minor mistakes that someone is making much easier. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now, focusing on your lineup on the team, um, we saw Fantasy uh, finishing among uh, the best five players in the competition. He has done really well, especially in entry frags. Uh, well, it's his main job. Uh, but we have seen him um, with a very, very low survival uh, rate. Um, how do you? Um, how do you? rate fantasy's job in the team uh we know that he's an incredible player but how does the team rate his his job how how do we rate his job i mean i mean everyone makes mistakes so he included so he tries his best I, uh, I'm not, he gets a lot of yeah I'm yeah sorry, i know i know it's not like i think that it's like re- really, really good. Like he's incredible as a fragger, and he's a really good player. But it just, um, uh, um, it's not different. But it's like um, worth noting that uh, despite his like uh, good contributions to the team, his survival rating is like um, not the best, maybe. But he's doing a very, very good job for the team. Like it's not like yeah. a hard comment uh, to. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, like uh, that is probably you know we we demand from a lot from each other. So mm-hmm. he included. So that's what we. That's one of the points that we we are trying to help him him improve and yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. I I won't I won't leave everyone's. Uh, that's cool. Point, so. That's cool, man. That's cool. Um, also, I also wanted to talk about um, Handy. Uh, before Handy joining joined the team, Rare was like the main, you know, Harbinger support. Um, he was like fulfilling those tasks. And with Handy in the team, we can see that the plans are like Handy is dealing with that stuff. Um, how do you think after two stages, how do you think Handy has? Um, adapted to the team and to the top flight um, competitions? Uh, after the two stages, I think Andy has been uh, doing pretty well. Uh, there will be some changes in the team that I... some... how can I... I don't know the word that we're gonna change... Uh, roles? Let me see. Roles, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
we're gonna change uh, some rules, so I don't know if I can talk about it here, but okay. uh, when, when is this interview is gonna be posted? <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't think there's a problem, you know. Uh, yeah, cool, cool, where, cool, cool. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, I'll tell you I'll where tell it's you gonna later. be. Um, com- like, mm, no. yeah. <laughs> well, probably <laughs> I mean, tomorrow, uh, man. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow? Yeah. yeah but can I check uh, pretty quick? Okay, I can I can talk about this. Okay. Uh, so we were talking about handy and how it was doing these hmm. two stages. I mean, we we've been talking a lot. So in the latest results, we we think that we, it was best to to let handy be the intermediate and the hair go to full support. You know, the the hard role being IGL and stuff. So that was gonna be better for the team. We we get it, so that's one of our main changes going to this major. We've been screaming this. We've been getting a lot of great results. We've been improving a lot in some aspects that we were that we were doing kind of bad. So I mean, and about Hand individually, you know, he's still adapting to the to the to his new role, but it was a role that he did before. He joined Furious, so I mean, it's gonna be more comfortable for him, so he can be. He's pretty happy about it. So, I mean, he's not support cool. anymore. Yeah. That's cool. So he's pretty hyped for the major. It's gonna be in Berlin, so everyone in the team is it's pretty in high spirits about this competition. Yeah. It is a hell of experience for sure. Um. Yeah, honestly, uh, I also expected like maybe you making those changes, the changes that you mentioned. So yeah, I yeah, from like uh, point my point of view, maybe it's like the correct change. And if you say that screams are going well, then um, go ahead, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's talk about uh, the Copa Elite Six now. Um, what happened against Team Cruelty? What happened against Team Cruelty? Uh, I don't know. We were doing our game. They were doing theirs. I think the uh, we slipped up in a few rounds, but I mean they they were in for the win. So and we were too, and we went ahead of it. We went ahead of them. So I mean we lost one map, but I mean mm-hmm. yeah. I mean I, that, I think there's. Nothing much to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I'm just asking because um, we, like, historically even, uh, Furia is a team that has always uh, struggled a little bit against Mexican and South American teams, at least in terms of results. Um, last stage, Pampas uh, pushed you to third map. Uh, this stage has been, like, Team Cruelty. Uh, and against Sips Karma, I remember a very close Oregon. Um, so yeah, I was wondering uh, if there's like some you know reason behind that uh, those results. I mean, I can't think of any major reason, but the but the points that we've been trying to to improve that I mean they if there is a thing to say, I think these these teams they know how to to get our weak point and. I mean, they they really expose us at these these matches. Mhm. Mhm. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Wait a second. Uh. Yes. Um. So uh, again, uh, uh, about Charlotte. Um. You guys couldn't travel, and you had to play under you know the circumstances that we previously mentioned. Um. Does that motivate you? Um, to show what you really are capable of. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we even in in these situations, in that situation, we we managed to to do pretty well, in my opinion. So, I mean, in going to land being the the same uh, the same level of competition or being in land the same environment, I think it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be amazing, as always. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, 
And um, well, in your case, you already know what uh, teams are you going to face uh, in Berlin. You're going to be in Group D, and you're facing Elevate, M&M, and M&M, and Astralis. Yeah. Astralis, yeah. Um, for sure, it's a very, very complicated group. Um, difficult to say who's going to qualify, honestly. Um, how do you rate uh, your group, and who do you think is going to cause you more problems? How do I how do I rate in in what sense? I mean, like, who is like gonna? How, yes, like how do you rate your chances to qualify to the quarter, uh, quarterfinals? How yeah. do you see the other teams, and who do you expect to cause you more problems? Mm, that's a tough question. I mean, the way I rate our chance to qualify, I think I rate them pretty high. You know, we are pretty confident in in ourselves, so we we already been watching some bots and there. It's always like that. You no, know, watch bots. You you see, there is nothing to be afraid of. You no, know, they always make some mistakes, so they're human. Like uh, so, I mean, it's it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but I mean, we 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 are pretty confident in our uh, in our classification to the playoffs, and who do I think is gonna be the the most difficult team? I mean, theoretically, it's gonna be Astralis. No, they they. In the later in the uh, shallot major, they were the the second team, so probably with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Astralis. Mm-hmm. Elevate, uh, we faced them before, so we 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 already know how they play, and M and M, it's gonna be a for us. It's gonna be a wild card, you know. It's gonna be our first time playing them. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them and uh, and Australis. So for us, I mean, for me at least, that's a plus because I like to play teams that I haven't played before. So I really like that, you know, new play styles, uh, how some players play, you know, it's gonna... I mean, I really like that. Yeah. And as a final question, um, so as we mentioned, you have traveled and you have played in many tournaments now. Um, is there any difference in terms of mood or uh, sy- synergy uh, in the players or the team uh, that makes Berlin uh, different uh, to other tournaments, or do you think that nothing has changed, or how do you how, how does the team uh, face Berlin now? I mean, how we face Berlin now? I think we. You know, we were even uh, talking about the, the first few days, how we were feeling about going to Berlin, that we, we were feeling something different, you know, it's going to be, when it, something great is going to happen. So, I mean, everyone is feeling the same thing. So, I guess it, <laughs> it gets to the question you were talking about, about synergy and everything. So, you know, like I said, everyone in high spirit, they, everyone's pretty hyped. So. Okay, cool. I think, uh, just complementing your question, I think that's one of the main reasons that a team gets to to be a champion, you know. And how It's not about tactics, you know, about some... Uh, 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 a player is killing everybody, it's how about the group is feeling, you know, the, the mood, everything. No, we can talk about Julio talked about his his win at six invitation or that they they just were were feeling it, you know, then there weren't any anything that you no know, it, it was supposed to happen like even T one in winning the major, you know we I don't know uh much about D Z but we but just seeing them uh Talking in Twitter about the, I saw a Canadian post about the Ubuntu, Ubuntu, you know the, mm-hmm. the this kind of mindsets that keeps the group together. So I mean, I think that's that's one of the main reasons, if not the the main reason that 
makes the a team champion. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your time, Miracle, and see you in Berlin. Thank you. Um, see you, good man. Good luck. Good luck.